Hello, thank you so much for clicking this video today. It's gonna be an exciting one. I'm actually with the CEO of Midnight, Aaron, today, and we're gonna be doing a little update on Midnight. It was over a year ago uh, that we actually did the first podcast. So how have you been? I've been great. It's an uh, awesome show here at Rare Evo. A lot of exciting stuff, meeting the community, partners, players, really fun. Yeah, I've been, I've been really enjoying it too. So, you know, it's it's been 10 months since that podcast. So what, what are the biggest updates that we have made have missed in the last 10 months around midnight? So uh, we've launched our DevNet uh, back uh, in November last year. Actually, I wanted to get like maybe a hundred teams to come and play with what we've built. Uh, ended up being really surprised. We ended up with over 2,000 applications kind of filing and dying, trying to do various things. Uh, and it's just been a roller coaster since of exciting new innovation. Things like real world asset application, identity application, and defense ideas, uh, I don't know, ESG, KYC, oh, gaming, it's just been a, an amazing time. So what um, what use case has been kind of brought your way from a company that kind of surprised you the most and made you realize like Midnight is perfect for this? So Midnight, for those that don't know, is a data protection blockchain. We're a layer one that partners with Cardano for the launch, uh, but the primitives really is around keeping kind of a blockchain that can keep a secret. So you could uh, have your private data remain on the wallet and just provide proofs using zero knowledge so everybody else can get the attestation of what you do. Uh, and, but there are various, to answer your question, there are various use cases, whether they are around information that is confidential around commercial information or let's say medical records or uh, voting applications that are really shining when you need to keep some of that information private to the users and we're seeing a lot of people kind of start building those use cases. Awesome. So, um, you know, I get a lot of questions about Midnight from that interview and one that I see a lot is, uh, you know, when can SBOs start running the network for Midnight? So we are actually already started working with SBOs. Awesome. Um, there is this concept of launching the chain that we've decided to go, rather than go on, on it alone, we are partnering with Cardano. So the way it's going to work is a Cardano staple operator that is already being an SBO for Cardano could essentially use that same kind of modality and sign up to become a block producer on midnight. So we're right now already working with some Cardano SBOs to try it out okay and uh, coming up uh, in a couple of weeks uh, we're gonna kind of launch the testnet and I'm gonna invite a lot of SPOs to try it out and get ready for our mainnet launch in uh, early 2025 awesome you know there's a lot of uh, SPOs in the community but you know there's tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of delegates of right. those SPOs and you know I get a question you know if an SPO is running midnight and Cardano at the same time is there any reward for delegates of the, those SPOs? Absolutely. So if you're a delegate to a Cardano SPO and you're delegating your ADA and that Cardano SPO becomes a part of the Midnight ecosystem and helps us kind of build blocks, mm -hmm. then that SPO is getting rewards from Midnight in addition to rewards from Cardano for their Cardano work. And those rewards then get allocated out to the stakers that provided the stake to the SPO. So awesome. everybody is going to get rewarded for the activity and what they're contributing to our network. Yeah. So I've noticed, um, you know, with Midnight, there really is a big push to, you know, also onboard the Bitcoin community or the Ethereum community and not just Cardano. So, you know, we also mentioned uh, an airdrop for ADA holders in the last podcast. Does the, <laughs> does the airdrop extend to the wider cryptocurrency community or is it just Cardano? So we are a firm believer in a multi-chain world. Uh, we don't think there is uh, maximalism is going to further us uh, into the future. Yeah. Uh, people building applications are going to need different tools for different jobs. Sometimes they'll need Cardano. Sometimes they'll need Bitcoin. Sometimes they'll need Midnight. Sometimes they'll need a mix of different things. In order to invite other ecosystems to come and work with us, build hybrid dApps, do interesting things, we're planning to introduce our token and invite people, holders of other ecosystems, systems yeah. uh, to 
be part of that. I'm not going to yet share all the details because That's fair. this is coming uh, later this year. But suffice to say that it's definitely going to be the Cardano ecosystem folks as well as a few other ecosystems joining the party. Awesome. That's incredible to hear. And I, you know, I actually agree with the sentiment around maximalism. I think that, you know, kind of branching out to the wider community is really important. And, um, you know, with Midnight, is it going to be easy for, you know, uh, someone who's building on another blockchain just to easily pick up Midnight? Because we have seen that with Cardano. You know, it's hard for other developers to, right. you know, use Plutus or Plutark or Icon now. So. so we've done a couple of things really with the mindset of benefiting the developers. First thing we did is we've selected TypeScript, which is the second most popular programming language in the world for, to be the foundation for our smart contract and our APIs. So it's very easy to write. Everybody's familiar with TypeScript. It connects to uh, Python and JavaScript and many other stuff. Second thing is we did is we provide you a lot of building primitives. So I know ZK is a hard thing to do. Uh, we have some pre-made circuits like Lego building blocks that you can use. And then to answer your kind of question, talk about composability with other chains. Yeah. So not are the APIs also friendly, we've invested extra to make things even more compatible. So for example, mm -hmm. rather than using what most people do with ZK with a pasta curve that is a little bit more challenging to kind of convert to other things, we've selected something called Pluto Eris. And the beauty of that is that it's very easily compatible with non-ZK chains like yeah. Ethereum or Cardano. So if you're a programmer that is already building something on Ethereum, you can easily receive a proof from Midnight and you can understand it right out of the box without needing for any further development, hmm. making it so much easier to build hybrid applications together with Midnight and other things. Yeah. So how um, how long do you think until, uh, you know, mainnet? As I it's said, hard to estimate. The, the plan, <laughs> uh, and we are on track to launching it in early 2025. Okay. Uh, most of the roadmap is already built. Testnet awesome. is coming soon. And it's right now just working very closely with the community. Sorry about that. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, but I, I wanted to know, you know, if someone wanted to kind of join the Midnight community or be a part of Midnight, or even if they were a developer and want to start developing, where do they go? So uh, we got a website, midnight.network. We got a thriving Discord community. We're having like weekly Discord channels and calls um, and there's a LinkedIn Twitter or X Telegram group you can find us pretty much everywhere but I would encourage you simply to go to midnight.network and all the links are there and we look forward to hearing from you awesome thank you so much for doing the interview thank you guys and thank you guys for watching if you have any questions comment them down below and I'll make sure I answer them but if, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day okay.